Lex Frieden had it all going for him. He grew up in a small farm community in northwestern Oklahoma. He demonstrated the utmost in leadership ability and values. Lex was president of his church youth group, president of his high school's National Honor Society, and class valedictorian. Lex Frieden was voted most likely to succeed, and upon graduation went on to Oklahoma State University. Only two months later, in one shattering instant, the momentum ended. Lex broke his neck in an automobile accident. He was permanently paralyzed from the neck down. Many would have expected Lex to quit, never to go back to school, never to realize his dreams. And who among us would blame him? But with the love, encouragement, and support of his family and friends, Lex returned to school after six months of rehabilitation. He attended Northwestern Oklahoma State University briefly before transferring to Tulsa University. There he became involved in campus activities, joined a service fraternity, and helped to organize a group to work for the rights of disabled people. He also worked with the administrators of the university to make their campus one of the first to be accessible to people in wheelchairs. And he began to write articles and make speeches about the needs and abilities of handicapped people. Lex hadn't quit. He had simply rechanneled his energies. In 1972, after graduating with honors, he accepted a fellowship from the University of Houston. In Houston, he lived in one of the first projects designed to provide non-institutional living opportunities for severely disabled people. Before that time, most severely disabled persons were forced to live in hospitals, nursing homes, or parents' homes. Lex became convinced that he and other disabled people could live much more independently by sharing needed services and available resources. Moreover, they could develop their own programs to provide specially adapted housing and services. Lex became the resident manager of the Cooperative Living Project and later research director of the New Options Transitional Living Program, both nationally known demonstration projects. In addition, Lex helped form the Coalition for Barrier-Free Living in Houston and the American Coalition of Citizens with Disabilities. He has spoken widely on the needs of handicapped people, and he attended the White House Conference on Handicapped Individuals. From 1976 to 1978, he served as a consultant to the U.S. House of Representatives Committee on Science and Technology. Despite a rigorous schedule, Lex completed his master's degree in 1979. He went on to become director of the Independent Living Research Utilization Project at the Institute for Rehabilitation and Research. In addition, Lex is assistant professor of rehabilitation at Baylor College of Medicine. Lex has developed an internationally known resource center for programs serving disabled individuals. He is the co-author of four books on independent living and has published more than 20 articles on a variety of related subjects. Many refer to the ILRU project, which he directs, as the best resource today for information and technical assistance on independent living. Lex travels widely. His work has taken him to eight countries and 31 states. He is an internationally recognized leader in the movement by disabled people to gain rights and privileges to overcome the stigmatizing effects of segregation and to become independent, productive, contributing members of their communities. At a very young age, Lex Frieden was traumatically and permanently disabled. Few people expected him to ever finish his education, have a job, be married, own a home, or be involved. Today, Lex Frieden has earned two college degrees and lives with his wife, Joyce, in their home in suburban Houston. He has inspired and encouraged other disabled people through his own accomplishments. He has been instrumental in shaping progressive legislation benefiting handicapped individuals. Under one of the most adverse situations known to man, Lex has incredibly fulfilled his high school classmate's prophecy. Lex Frieden, most likely to succeed, most deservedly one of our nation's 10 outstanding young men.